Hey, what's up guys? Today I'll be doing a review on the Ringside Heritage Speed Bag. So stay tuned. Hey guys, Carlo here, and today I'm doing a review on the Ringside Heritage Speed Bag. This retails for $99 through Ringside's website. It comes in just this one design and colorway, which is kind of that old vintage brown with tan leather. It comes in two different sizes, which is going to be small and extra small. Small being 6x9, meaning that it's 6 inches in diameter around the large part of the bag and 9 inches in height. Extra small, like I have here, is going to be 5x8, 5, 5 inches in diameter eight inches in height. Now I get the question all the time on which size speed bag is the right size or what's the best size. And to be honest with you, um, there really is no best size. What it really boils down to is um, whoever's gonna be using it. Like what's your experience level? Uh, what kind of feel that you like? What kind of rebound and speed you like from your speed bag? And, and once you answer all those questions, I will kind of determine it. I think oftentimes people that are new to using a speed bag that are beginners, they automatically think that they have to get the largest size because in their mind they think, okay, well it's bigger, that means it's gonna be slower, it's gonna be easier for me to hit. And yes, that, there's, that's true to the extent, but it will also limit your growth with the speed bag because when you start getting better at it, you get better at going quicker, faster, your shoulders, you have better endurance or stamina and you can do it for a longer time. You're gonna want something that's faster and the mass of a larger bag just can't replicate um, the speed and the quickness of a smaller bag. Now, I decided to get this one in the extra small 5x8 because I've never had a speed bag uh, this small. Um, and to give you guys kind of a size reference, this is my Ringside Apex speed bag I've used um, for a very long time. Now, you've probably seen my video review of this and I've used this in several of my videos. Uh, but I believe this one is their size medium, which I think is 7 by 10. Um, and to me, this is kind of like the best size for both advanced and beginner users because it's large enough for a beginner to kind of get used to it, but it's also small enough to where once you get really good at using the speed bag, um, you can go really fast with this still and you can still do a lot of those fancy tricks you see people do. So just for size reference, you can see how much larger this 7x10 Apex is compared to this 5x8 um, uh, Heritage bag. So, I have to show you guys that as a reference. Quality wise, this bag is really nice. It's probably one of the best quality speed bags I've seen and I've used. Um, and one thing I like about this bag is, is just how durable and thick the leather feels on hit on this bag. Uh, when you go to the Ringside website, they basically describe it as double A drum dyed um, uh, cowhide leather and you can really tell that the leather on here is extremely thick it's better than the quality of the leather I've seen in my title bags it has a very nice supple feel to the leather it doesn't feel cheap by any means um, the bag itself is manufactured in Pakistan you have a, a label up here um, but very thick feeling I mean even the the leather loop up top that connects to the swivel that little u swivel is super thick and, and hard so just the thickness of it it just feels very sturdy and it, i think it looks great i love the brown and that tan look that has that old vintage look that kind of goes with the theme of the heritage line um, you have the metal rivets that hold that in it does say um, medium right there which is weird because on their website it says extra um, extra small so I'm, I'm not too sure it says hsb um, it does have a ringside patch, but it doesn't have any sharp edges. It almost feels like it's kind of like a rubberized patch. But I like the way that looks. I like it definitely more than their plastic patches that they use, like on, on the Apex. This one is plastic, so it's a little bit sharper around the edges. Whereas the Heritage one feels a little bit more rubberized. Um, you do have the welted seams that I like. The, the seams are nice and soft. Um, it does say the best in bo boxing and everything on the bag is embroidered so it's no cheesy print nothing that's cheap done cheaply done even the ringside logo right here is all stitched in so i definitely like that a lot it says premium leather heritage professional so everything is literally stitched in there um, and looks great uh, although the more i use this i'm pretty sure that this stitching here over time is going to start to kind of unravel 
um, just from using the bag. So it looks great quality wise. Um, it does have these leather laces up top. Uh, that's very nice as well. I do wish that the laces were a little thinner and a little bit more stretchable um, because what I end up finding myself doing is tying these off and the laces kind of end up getting undone while I'm hitting the bag. Not a huge deal, but it would have been nice to have maybe some thinner, more flexible laces. Um, you can see that it has good symmetry to the bag. There's no weird lumps or, or bumps or flat spots on the bag. Um, it does have your standard rubber uh, latex uh, bladder on the inside with the insertion port at the very bottom of the bag that sits pretty much flush with the leather. Um, and it's a good thing that the insertion port's at the bottom so you don't have to worry about um, you know, busting the port if you're hitting it, unless you hit it with like an uppercut if you're just kind of uh, messing around with the bag. But if you're hitting it like you typically would for a speed bag, then there shouldn't be any point where you're gonna hit that port and end up busting, uh, busting that. So you can see it's just a beautiful looking bag overall. I'm gonna go and attach this to my speed bag platform. Um, another thing I noticed too, because of how thick this piece is and how basically just how rigid it is, it's kind of hard to kind of push the little U-clip through, but it'll go through. You just kind of gotta maneuver it in there. By far, probably the, definitely the toughest one I've had to push through out of all the speed bags I've used. And I finally got that through, but it does get pretty stiff inside there. So I'm sure it'll loosen up over time but it is kind of stiff as you put it right through. And also because of how stiff this portion is, you don't get a lot of sideways motion with it. It kind of just stays in line uh, with the swivel. Go ahead and put this on swivel. I'll demonstrate to you guys how this actually works and performs. So before I start hitting it, the first thing you'll notice is because of how small it is, you have a much smaller bag radius. So what that means is if you're like myself and my, my speed bag platform, is my platform actually rests pretty close to the wall right here. So if I use a larger bag, sometimes the bottom of the speed bag ends up kind of hitting against the wall. And I've had a couple where it would hit the wall and it would kind of uh, slow down the momentum of the bag. With this, because of the size of it, uh, you have a great radius around the platform, just depending on the platform that you're using. So you don't have to worry about uh, the bag hitting a wall or anything like that. Um, it stays inflated really nicely. If I haven't actually had to inflate this for like maybe five or six days now, the last time I inflated it, I inflated it and it's actually held its air very well. You can see that it's nice and firm. Um, and here in, in Arizona, or should I say Phoenix in the summertime, um, I've noticed a lot of my bags when it's super hot outside and it's triple digits, it, it tends to lose the air faster. And I think the heat affects the, the rubber on the inside and it basically just leaks air quicker. So let's go ahead and hit this bag. See how the heat goes. Okay. Definitely feels much quicker in terms of just the weight. It doesn't feel it doesn't feel like it carries the mass like the other larger bags, like even the title uh, Gyro Balance, the title um, Super Speed Bag, uh, or my Ringside Apex. It, it feels much tighter and smaller, obviously because it is a smaller bag, but you can definitely tell the difference when you hit it. Quality of the leather is very, very nice. Um, one thing I like is that it feels good even on my bare hands. Um, I know a lot of people use their hand wraps. I do too sometimes if I'm training at home. Um, and that adds that layer of protection for your skin. Um, so you don't get any kind of like scuffs or any kind of cuts on the outside edge of your hand that you're striking with on this portion. Uh, but to be honest with you, there's the surface on this at least the leather is supple enough and even the welted seams are supple enough to where um, there's really no rough spots. I mean, you have the stitching here, but when you're hitting it directly on, you're not like sliding your hand off across the stitching. Um, it's actually really comfortable. So.
You know, doing tricks on this, it does feel a little bit more nimble, but your timing is a little bit different with this because I feel it rebounds a little bit quicker and the shortness and the, I guess the punch surface on the bag is smaller than some of the other larger speed bags. So there may be a little bit of an adjustment period to that, but I feel that if you're somebody that's experienced already in hitting the speed bag, like you're, you're fast with it, you have quick hands, you can do all kinds of different tricks side to sides, you know, all the, all the, the 360s with the elbows, which I can't do any of that. Um, I think you'll definitely love this bag compared to some of the other larger bags. You know, I think that's where this bag, at least the size of it really shines and will really perform well is for those of you that are a little bit more advanced and can do a lot more tricks. Um, if you're a beginner, I think this would be a solid bag as well. You just might have a little bit of a harder time getting used to the smaller target as you hit it. But then again, that just might push you further along quicker than somebody that's might maybe using a little bit larger of a speed bag that rebounds slower. So you're kind of just playing down to the level of the bag that you're using. So if you're using a bag that forces you to be um, you know, quicker and learn faster, then that actually could be a great benefit. So overall, I'm extremely satisfied with the speed bag. Um, it's definitely a little bit on the pricier side compared to some of the other bags I've used at $99. Um, but then again, I've always mentioned this in other videos uh, with ringside products, title products, you know, the companies that often give discounts, you know, you can see 20, 30, 40% off. Um, if you can get it for any of those discounts, then I definitely think it's well worth it. Um, frankly, I was actually surprised. I think this is the very first ringside heritage product I've used. I know they make gloves and some other products in the heritage line, but this is the very first I've ever got their products. And honestly, I was really impressed with it. I, I didn't know really what to expect and my expectations were kind of on the low side just based on some of the other ringside stuff I've had in the past. Uh, but this has definitely exceeded my expectation. I, I, I love the way it looks. The leather is really nice, high quality. Um, it performs great. Um, the bladder is held up really well. Air, air hasn't leaked out of it. Um, but overall, definitely happy with this. So if you guys have any questions or comments, make sure you guys leave them down below in the comments box. I'll put the link in the description box where you can find this ringside heritage speed bag. I'll see you guys later.